Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to I Square Maths Academy, where numbers and variables actually meet mastery. Today, we have a question here before us that we should show that if 5 raised to the power of log 27 base 1 to 5 is equal to x, and 47 raised to the power of log 2 base 7 is equal to y, that we should show that x squared plus y squared is equal to 25. Now, solution. Now, remember in our class on logarithm, one of the laws of logarithm, we said log m power x base n is the same thing as x log m base n. Yes, when the number is carrying the power, the power actually falls back. So we have it as log x log m base n and log m n power x. Now, when the base is carrying the power, so it becomes 1 all over x. Yes, as the x is going back, it becomes 1 over x. Then we have log m base n. Now, we also have it that log m base n. Yes, when the number and the base are equal, it means the value will be equal to 1. Now, going by this, let's look at the value of x. Here we have x is equal to, we have 5 raised to the power of log, 27 base 125. So in this case, this is the same as saying 5 raised to the power of log 27. Now the base 125 is the same thing as 5 power 3. Yes, because 5 times 5 times 5, 3 places will give us 125. So now looking at this, because the base n here, 5, is kind of power. So taking it back. It becomes 5 raised to the power of, we have 1 all over 3 log 27 base 5. Now, let's take it again. We said when the base is carrying the power, now, if the x is going back, it becomes 1 all over x. So, here, 5 is carrying the power. So, take, and 5 is the base. So, if you're taking the 3 back, it becomes 1 all over 3. Now, this is the same as saying 5 raised to the power of log. Now, let's figure this law. Now, when the number is carrying the power, yes, we said the power will go back. So, it means we can also reverse this to this form. So, now I'm bringing this to the front here. So, we have log 27 raised to the power of 1 all over 3. Now, we have base 5. So, in this case, this should be 27 raised to the power of 1 all over 3. Because we also said under the laws of logarithm, that when you have m raised to the power of log x base m yes m raised to the power of log x base m here we have m and here we have m that the value will give us x so it means in this case 5 raised to the power of log 27 power 1 over 3 base 5 yes because these 5 and this 5 here are equivalent so it means we just pick 27 raised to the power of 1 over 3 and that will give us the cube roots of 27 and of course the cube root of 27 is equal to 3 Yes, the cube root of 27 is equal to 3. So it means the value of x is equal to 3. Now, let's see the value of y. Let's see the value of y. Now, y is equal to, we have 49 raised to the power of log 2 base 7. Yes. Now, this is the same thing as saying this 49 is 7 raised to the power of 2. Then here we have log 2 base 7, which is the same thing as saying 7 raised to the power of log 2 raised to the power of 2 base 7. Now, because here we have 7 and here the base is 7, it means the value here will be 2 power 2. It means the value of y will be equal to 2 power 2 is 2 times 2, and that will give us 4. So, therefore, x is equal to 3 and y is equal to 4. Now, let's see the value of x squared plus y squared. Now, our x is 3. So, x squared now will be 3 squared. Then we have plus. The value of y is 4. So, y squared will be 4 squared. And here, 3 squared is 3 times 3, which is 9. Plus, 4 squared is 4 times 4, which is 16. And 9 plus 16 is equal to 25. So, therefore, x squared plus y squared is equal to 25. So now we have actually shown that x squared plus y squared is equal to 25. Thank you for listening.